areas. Um, quite a few of you have asked if I can do a video just giving a bit more detail on what this package is all about. So here we go. Now the first shot is the actual product that you're going to get when you download. So there's three things in the main product. We've got the uh, actual guide itself which I'll show you in a moment and we've got a couple of scripts and some instructions um, which will allow you to implement some of the more advanced features of the reseller account and uh, whereby you can capture uh, tags so um, date of birth zip code stuff like that that's useful because your reseller dashboard does allow you to schedule messages and even send individual push messages to specific phones um, so the business owner can send their individual clients a message or all of them um, however they wish so that's the zip file and what is contained within when you download so we'll just hide that and here's the actual product itself the report so I'll just skim through this so you can get an idea usual stuff there um, and there's an introduction here a lovely photo of me and my family and um, then a bit of a explanation of why I'm doing this and how I arrived here and then we get into the actual nitty-gritty describing how the system works um, and there's some more info there and then onto the reseller dashboard and what you can get and use for your clients um, some more in explanation about that some links and basically just a guide rather brief as to how you can get in and, and get this all set up and what it's all about there's some examples of some mobile some web apps that I've created for clients and the push notifications um, and how that works and can be done um, here's the QR setup um, so you don't even need a mobile website as I've said um, some shots of the a branded dashboard which is one that I have for demo purposes um, and a client area where they send their push notifications once you've set them up which is branded as you can see um, and then some more info a few suggestions some resources and a bit of a technical document at the end from the actual developers so that is the product and now if we go to the internet itself and we have a look at the actual dashboard here um, so this is my demo account and um, as you can see it's branded with a logo at the top I'll just try and move that a bit actually so you can see it a bit better bear with me okay so what you would do there's a couple of different sign-ins but it's the same whether you're signing into your master account with all your clients inside or whether one of your clients is going there to sign into their individual account so if I click on the sign in button first up I'll show you here's a client of mine a motorbike shop so if I log in with them assuming they're a client then this is what they'll see so they can send a message and when that message pops up on one of their customers phones um, here's a URL that they can then redirect them to so a mobile landing page effectively with their coupon or offer so they just type their message in to this box here and then type the URL in here and click send and away they go so that's a basic account and they would four people at this point in time would get a message um, so that's how it works from your clients perspective so you're selling them starting at you know I would suggest around 29 bucks a month for a basic account like this it doesn't have the scheduling or the tags at a basic account level um, not everyone's going to need that um, so that's that one so if I sign out of there then I'll come back and show you my master account and this is where you would go to set up and administer your clients so as you can see I've got quite a few clients here and if I go to Mr. Bikecraft's dashboard um, 
Okay, so back again. Sorry about that little hiccup. But we made it into the dashboard of one of the clients that you would have set up in your reseller dashboard where you'll have multiple clients. Um, and you can see that there's various options here to change details about his particular login for his individual client area. Um, you can change his plan. This is the important part here. That's the individual link that you will put uh, on their mobile website so that their customers can subscribe to their push notification service. And remember, this is exclusive to every client of yours. So they're only going to be getting notifications from the business owner, not from anywhere else. And there's no adware, no, nothing like that involved here. So it's all clean and tidy. Um, so this is HTML code that you can just put right in to um, a mobile website page um, that's all set up and um, it'll show up as a subscribe button. Um, I've got an example here. Um, there you can see the subscribe button underneath um, which is generated when they click on it. Um, they will be taken to the registration. I'll get into that a bit more in a minute. Um, so you've got that. Um, actually what you did see there was the pop-up widget code which is here as well which you can put into a page and that will give you this effect here when they land on the page um, and they click OK and then that goes to the next step where they register um, and then they will appear as a registered person in the client's dashboard hoping that the internet's going to uh, work for me um, otherwise we're going to have to have another crack at this oh no here we go so there's some registrations and there are no tags but if you had a more advanced plan and used some of the more advanced setups that I go over in the guide then you can have tags here which would then enable the business owner to send a message just to this phone or this one or to that one and that one or whatever combination they wanted based on tags which can be name, phone number, um, birthday, zip code, etc, etc. So I hope I hope that makes sense. Okay, awesome. The internet has decided to let me back in. So I was about to click on portal settings and just show you how you brand your dashboard. So basically what I've done is I've given it a name here and I've chosen my own domain to host it on and I've created a subdomain and then I've gone into my web hosting account and I've created a C name record that points this subdomain to portal.alertrocket.com as they explain. So it's a little technical and of course I'm here to help anybody out who goes for the reseller option and um, is struggling with this. It doesn't take long. Um, the hardest part actually is waiting for the whole system to connect which can take an hour or two just as the internet resolves the uh, C name and attaches the to your subdomain to the alert rocket interface which is this. But what you'll end up with and also you choose a logo file here which uh, gives you instructions on the size. So I went and created this logo and um, you choose that, you save everything and away you go. Um, so as I said, I'm here to help. So anyone who signs up as a reseller, I'll know because um, I have a, a link. And by the way, it's not an affiliate link. So I'm um, working with Alert Rocket here um, to get this thing going because I love it. And I want you guys to get out there and use it and have the benefit of it. Um, so the only reason why I have a specific link which it's important that you click on when you purchase the document the only reason that link is there is so they know that you don't have to pay the setup fee you um, don't have a monthly upfront commitment because they normally expect people to have a 199 month minimum um, for which they get $199 worth of services as well but I figured you guys you know wanted to just go as you as you as you go so you just pay as you go as you get clients in there um, and the other thing is the big one is that they normally only offer 20% commission in their reseller accounts but um, warriors get 50% so what that means I'll explain that if you go back to your dashboard 
um, if we take one of the new accounts I've set up, if they, on this plan, it's $10 a month, but you're actually only paying five because you're getting 50% commission. So you could just charge them 10, but I would charge them, as I've said, 29. So on this 49 a month, if they want scheduling, it's only gonna cost you 24.50. And this one, it's only gonna cost you 49.50. So you're making money straight away and you can just pass that cost directly onto your client and just take the 50% or you can add a little more as a consultant providing a service and possibly even you know providing mobile landing pages for their campaigns as well as they send out their push messages um, so there's lots of stuff but I go through that in the report as well so I really do hope that that straightens this out for people who were wondering what it is and how it works so basically you're creating an account for a client you're getting their unique link then you're taking their mobile website and adding that link into the code in various different formats which are all explained and I've given you the code to do this so you can either have a button or you can have this pop-up or you can actually have a form as well which is the one thing I haven't shown but um, that's for the tags so if you get to that level with an account so you have a dentist client let's say who wants to be able to send appointment reminders or something like that and you have them on a um, more advanced account that has the um, aliases etc then you'd want the form that passes on the information when the person hits subscribe basically they've entered their name their zip code and then they hit subscribe and those details go and get tied to their individual sign up um, and then the business owner can send individuals messages so that really wraps it up if you need more then by all means ask and I'll be happy to do some more videos and I can see I'm going to have to do some proper training to uh, set up the uh, help you guys you know with the process of setting up that C name record etc so I'll, I'll look into that but um, that just about wraps it up for now okay I hope to see you as resellers very soon cheers just another quick section that I missed out actually I've got a preview of a mobile web app um, the style that I create and um, I'll give you the resources to be able to do this too um, this is an example of the subscribe button and it shows the form so what you would do is send someone to this mobile landing page um, and they would hit subscribe and it takes them to a form where they enter their name and a postcode and then they hit subscribe and they're taken to the next step um, and this information here is passed through the process so that ultimately it gets recorded in the client's dashboard and I don't know if it's actually going to work on this emulator um, it probably needs to be run on a phone but hopefully that clarifies how the form works Okay, thanks for that.